Now let's introduce Studio, the course authoring tool, and explain in more detail how you will be using all three tools, Edinex Control Center, Studio, and the LMS to articulate your learner's complete experience online. We are showcasing Studio in Redwood, therefore we will explain the new feature that this release offers. What is Studio? Studio is the place where course authors create and prepare their online courses, and with this release, it has undergone a facelift. Some of the new features include redesigned and enhanced look and feel, sleeker and modernized user interface. Every page has been converted to a Paragon design system, and every page in Studio is now an independent micro-fronted MFE. How do we access it? You can access it directly from your course, click on View Course in Studio, or you can access it directly by URL. Like I stated previously, it is a web-based course authoring tool that allows instructors to create, manage, and publish courses on the Open edX platform. Studio provides you with an intuitive visual interface to create and customize your courses with drag and drop functionality and a library of interactive components. With Studio, you can create engaging and interactive course content from simple text and images to interactive exercises, videos, and quizzes. It also provides tools for managing the publication and release of course content and the advanced settings for each course. What will you find in Studio? The main Studio page will have some basic information and allow you to sign in using your LMS credentials. Note that if you do not have an account, please return to your LMS and create it first. Once signed in, you land in the Studio homepage where you will find the list of courses available for you to work on and the option to create new courses. Just a heads up, all administrators have course permissions from the start. If you don't, you can only use Studio to edit the courses you have been given permission to. The process of granting course creation permission to a new user is done in the ECC. You will also be able to view archived courses if they are any in Create or Manage Library, which are collections of components that can be reused across multiple courses. Once you enter a course, you will be in the course outline, which serves as the main entry point for creating, organizing, and managing course content. The Studio course outline is organized into sections, subsections, and units. Sections are the main chapters of a course, can have multiple subsections, these are the learning sequences that learners will need to go through, can have multiple units. Finally, units are the pages where course content or course components will be added. The Studio Navigation menu at the top of the page will provide access to all the additional functionality, including content. From this section, you will be able to manage the content of the course, upload files, and course updates. Settings. This section provides access to most of the course configurations, including the schedule, grading policy, course team, group configurations, advanced settings, and certificates. Finally, tools. This section will provide the possibility to either export your course content and configurations into a package file, or to import a particular package file into your course to replace its current content with the content in that file. Up next, we'll dive deeper into the Edginex Control Center and everything it can do for you. Don't miss it. See you in the next video.